I am a big fan of shooting film, but my God, the prices right now for film rolls is just so much that it's almost like unattainable to shoot films. And with the itch, I have found like a cure with this Canon PowerShot G12. And this little thing is just so amazing. The ergonomics is just phenomenal for a camera this old. Uh, even though this has like a tiny sensor but it is like bigger than what you get for your phones and again look at the controls that it has lots of manual controls on this one and you can see the top you could adjust everything on this on the top the exposure compensation the iso the uh the shooting modes got the dials for the uh, shutter speed the aperture is just just phenomenal to shoot and I will show you some of my captures that uh, I did uh, with this one and yeah I will also like to hear you how silent it is it is perfect for street And it also has that really helpful flip screen and if you are if you love to shoot film you can flip it this way so you could just look at the viewfinder and that would like simulate like shooting film camera so it is fantastic it is also has like a built-in ND filter and you could also shoot raw with this one so by the way photos uh, right now I sh shot it raw and edited on Lightroom this one edited on the Fro pack uh, this is like uh, low light and this is in uh, pan f 35 mm I just love the black and white rendering on this camera by the way and this one is on Fuji C200 this is one of my favorite film ever it looks amazing on this one here is a superior 400 one of my favorite uh, Fuji film ever also just looks good and here is from a uh, throw pack to a double stuff Oreos which is a fantastic black and white simulation and yeah Portra 400 right there one of the best and by the way for the camera I uh, I've noticed it's slightly uh, overexposed so in editing I tend to adjust the highlights uh, all the time and adjust the shadows and the dark tones here it is with the fro pack to Apollo which is really good by the way if you love like those brown the golden tones here's a Fuji color 800 Z if you look at it it is fantastic of course this is uh, this one has like good lightning so uh, low ISO for this but it is fantastic actor 100 right there and with the high contrast you can clearly see some chromatic aberrations this one is corrected through LR but you can still clearly see uh, one but it has that film characteristic in it Kodak Gold 200 looks amazing also and again the highlights man the trees with the chromatic aberrations here is the actor 100 film sim looks really good and then here's a portrait 400 one of my favorite photos by the way in today's walk I just love it and here's uh, an HP 5 35mm uh, the the greens the noise I have adjusted uh, with this one and um, yeah I tend to like uh, lessen the noise for this Fuji color C200 right there yeah tend to uh, lessen the noise because uh, the camera already has some noise so good noise I should say 
it's almost like that it has like filmic characteristic to it here's a portrait 400 on this beautiful flower and here is the uh, throw pack to ACDC simulation looks amazing on this by the way lovely colors on that one yeah, Fuji color 800z film sim And then here is another Fuji Color 800Z. Again, adjusted the highlights for this as it tends to overexpose the highlights. So, yeah, tend to do a lot of adjustments to the highlights. Here is the Throw Pack Cinnamon Toast Crunch, which is really good uh, for this photo. Here is another Throw Pack 2 Burnt Sienna. By the way, that Throw Pack 2, yeah, that is from Fro Nose Photos. So love that. Kodak Ultra Max, again one of my favorite film ever. And here is a Fuji Color 800G again. I love the greens on this. I don't know if you like uh, it, but I love the rendering on the greens for this one. Here is the Fro Pack 2 Charlie Brown film sim. It's just, yeah, it just looks beautiful. Adds more brown to the rust already. And here is like a fisheye effect on my car's side mirrors using that throw pack film sim. Here's another Fuji Color 800Z. I just love the Fuji Color, man. Uh, they are fantastic. Yeah, yeah, my favorites are uh, from Fuji and Kodak. Here's another Fro Pack 2 that is the another, yeah, Burnt Sienna. Just uh, looks good on those browns. Here's a Portra 400, which is one of the most famous films ever. And the Fuji Color 800Z right here. That is inspired by Korn's uh, first album cover. Love that, by the way, that golden color. Portra 400. The reds, I really like with this. And yeah, just looks amazing. And here is a Fro Pack Caribbean Creamsicle. The browns. Uh, I, I uh, lessened the greens on this. And here's the Actor 100 with the reflections on that. On the water. you muddy right there it looks good honestly superior 400 and this one i adjusted the most because it just it was just blown out so yeah recovered quite well and here's a superior 400 straight into the sunlight i think it looks good by the way for for this camera adjusted the shadows also here's a fuji color 800g film sim again i love the colors on the fujis Especially when there are lots of greens, lots of uh, trees. Actor 100, which just adds a lot of vibrance, a lot of saturation to the photo. Here's a Charlie Brown. Uh, honestly, I wanted this to, to pop more, but I think I would, uh, yeah, I settled already with this one. Fuji Color C200. Here's yeah, one more film sim that I really like. And here's me, a selfie on my a car side mirror with the Fuji C200 film sim. Yeah, I was driving this, the car was moving and using the Fuji Color C200 film sim. Beautiful golden colors, by the way. Yeah, so lovely camera. I highly suggest you getting this if you like film, but you think uh, film right now is just too much. It just costs too much. So highly suggest go get the power shots from Canon. I, I bought this really cheap. So I think the G10, the G9 is also really good. So that's all. Hope you enjoy this and see you on the next video. Bye-bye.